Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Warhammer 40,000 Chaoscape, The Demon Hunters. We've just come back from a mission. Quite successful, I would say. No uh, injured marines. And unfortunately, we could only do one out of three. So we've got more stuff spread around here. This place is pretty bad. It's about to uh, be finished and it's going to spread to these places. So, yeah, the infection is spreading quite rapidly and it's not very nice. So anyway, we're going to the center of the galaxy again. <laughs> galaxy. We're going to the center of the sector again to um, make sure we have it easy. Or at least we have a chance of going to places and doing as many missions as possible uh, before they run out. That thing... It's coming closer, but our gun batteries level 2 are complete. It turns out we had a disobedient cohort of targeting machine spirits, caused by some heretical scrap code that must have in inveigled. Interesting. I've never heard of that word before. That's, um, hmm. I'll have to look that up. That's quite interesting. That must have inveigled onto the edict during the Cadium campaign. Once the symptom was identified, I was able to isolate and remove the infected spirits. The gun batteries are now within 2.31% of their performance on the day we last left Titan. Well, that's pretty nice. Okay, next project. Uh, 50% construction speed, more research speed. We could do level 3 batteries, but of course we need a better reactor. Although the main gun batteries are operating within standard norms, until recently we lacked the power output to drive the Edict's lances. Restoring the lance array will allow us to slice through even the most heavily armored hulls. Um, exterminatus. That would be a good idea, probably, considering some of the places are uh, getting beyond, um, beyond use. We only have one use of this, though. Uh, I'm guessing you can use it as many times as you want, as long as you have the servitors and the time to do it. We're still at 2 out of 4 integrity, which means we could repair it. Uh, but I think I'd rather get the void shields up. Simulation algorithms project that an alarming 29.17% uh, of incoming fire will pass through the void shields and land directly on the edict's hull. Further reconstruction work should be able to reduce the percentage within acceptable parameters. And personnel, we've got all this stuff that uh, might, I might take. It's only five days, it's quite uh, short. But considering that we're now facing more of these uh, chaos ships out there, I think I'm going to increase the void shield. So let's do this. All right. Advanced time. I came across a fascinating stratagem while surveying your archives. The Tide of Shadows where the flow of the warp is manipulated to breathe nights and fragments of the immaterium itself. My experiments show this, is, uh, this has the fortuitous effect of confounding the plague gods' concoctions en route to their targets, rendering your knights effectively immune. Nice. Alright, so we've got that one. 100% uh, resistance for three turns. Knights heal six... Oh, that keeps going. Reflective insight. I have come to admire the Grey Knight's extraordinary resilience. They are all competent psychers, but I believe some of their power is grounded in your chapter's rites and sacraments. Power that I might turn to better sustain any supportive efforts in battle. Plus one stratagem use. That's not bad. Lord of the Emperor. All visible enemies plus three stun. And plus one stratagem slot. So... Here we still have more stratagems. I, I kind of wish there was also other stuff to research apart from stratagems. But I kind of understand it by lore, I suppose. Reduce warp search by 100%. Three turns. We've got the Codex Toxicus. I suppose we should really be doing this, to be honest. Uh, you know what? Let's research this. Five reapers now stride about the sectors, sowing plague wherever they pass, but the bloom's miasma hides them from our view. The Codex Toxicus will be our compass to track them down and eradicate the bloom one strain at a time. Let's do so. Because our marines are pretty good right now. 
I'm gonna wait with these void shields until we go anywhere close to that chaos ship. I don't think they really pursue us, they just move at random. Yeah, bloom spawn detected. Alright, ooh, excellent. One is right here, so we can do two of them. And one is over there. And fortunately, it's not spreading around. Uh, none of them are, in fact. So, we're gonna do this one first, and then go to that one. That's nice. For once, the bloom spawn locations are in good positions. Deeper analysis of void shields revealed the existence of several weak spots where protection was almost non-existent. The layers of shielding were miscalibrated and so out of phase with one another. After completing the 12 rites of ascendant harmonization, I am pleased to report that the edict has complete void shield coverage. Excellent. Let's see what else. Level 3 void shields. By restoring the void shields to their original condition, the edict will be able to withstand even the heaviest blows that enemy ships and vagaries uh, of the warp can deliver. Uh, obviously need better reactor out, but everything points to reactor out with 3 at this point, I think, so we'll be doing that. While the plasma reactor should now be fully operational, output measurements remain vexingly below standard norms. Internal OSPEX readings suggest that there may be a disturbance originating from the coil's own machine spirits. Resolving this issue will take significant resources, but it should allow us to bring all ship systems fully online. It's going to take all of our servitors. Upgrade. Only four days, I love it. And we should be getting servitors, not here, but on the other mission, hopefully. Look at that thing. Oh, Nerthesium, finally, level level 2. Huh. Uh, does this one give us... No! No servitors. Oh, that sucks. Okay, oh well. Yo. Oh, look at that. Sort of like a ring world. Win mission with only three knights. Ugh. It is danger level low, though. Um... Let me see. This place has zero infection, so I think we should be fine doing it with only three knights. Um, yeah, I think we'll be doing that because it, it is three extra requisition. That's really good. 15% a turn warp surge. What? Really? Oh yeah, of course, no prognosticer. Mortis. All right, let's start this mission. Let's select this. All right, so our librarian is going. Uh, Apothecary, Purgator, Purgator. Orion is gonna st stay out of this one. And we're just gonna do it like this, I think. So, let's see. Teleport and target a blast area. All knights gain plus three armor for five turns and 100% resistance. And target a knight to heal all. Um, maybe instead of the precision bombard, I will take plus three armor for five turns. That's such a powerful ability. I do like that. All right, so you've got the incense or more... Um, uh, more willpower. Okay, that's good. Instead of another purgator, perhaps I should take um, our purifier. See what he's like. So, he's got an incinerator. Unfortunately, all just level 1. When afflicted, the target loses all of their mutations, but it's only 25% chance to do so. And this one deals plus one damage against demonic targets, which is quite nice. Prometheum spray. Um, now let's do it. Inferno. <laughs> uh, this might be a mistake right now, but we'll see. We assign that to you. Man, this armor is just so good looking. Uh, equipment. Plus two range for their ranged weapons, I think, will be a very, very good idea, considering there's only uh, ten range on this. Range six to deal five damage. I'm assuming this will get affected, right? Hopefully. 
I mean, this is a ranged weapon. Alright, um... So I think that's good. We'll see how this goes. This is a bit of a... A bit of a gamble here, I suppose, but here we go. Power! What do we know of this place, Tech Priest? Archival data of these coordinates is indecipherable. However, the report from the Augurium is clear. The bloom seeds are below. Our mission is clear. All right. Oh no, I forgot to take a uh, extractor. Oh, extractor skull. <laughs> Oh, I always forget something. Oh well. Guess we're not gonna get that many, uh... Bloom things here. Oh well. Right, so this one is... Oh, I hear one of those machines here. Uh, there's a little bridge here. Look at all that stuff there. Ugh. Okay, they're here. So we need to be a little bit careful with how we move. Rogan. And where we move. This might already be too far. Unleash me. Yes, Commander. I sense them near. <laughs> I sense them near. Standing ready. Oh, he's got a cool voice. I uh, I decided... I did... Um, I did customize him a little bit. Off camera. Advancing. Standing ready. And I picked that one because it As sounded ordered. pretty cool. But they're all very, very... Yes, Commander. Good sounding, to be honest. On the hunt. Praise the plague lord. Hmm. Well, this might be a little bit different here because. Oh. Because we don't. To engage. We don't have two purgators now. What is your will? You can't actually shoot at him from here. Six damage there. Unfortunately, this is going to get destroyed. So really, the only option is just to go for it. I am with you. I am with you. Seven damage, precision targeting. Might actually want to do a nice crit. Look at that. Holy moly. I would say this would be quite good. <laughs> nice. I see your weak weakness. Inflict blinded, armor break, four. And mo immobilized. It doesn't matter, he's gonna be dead this turn. So, uh, let's disable the ranged weapon and see how that works. Oh, it actually, yeah. It just <laughs> blows it off. That's really cool. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that doesn't seem to increase the range. Let's see. Let's. One, two, three, four, five. Six, yeah. Let's, um... So that item is wasted, then. That's annoying. Shoot a flame hazard. One, uh, range plus... Uh, four plus one per two ammo spend that lasts one turn. Depletes all ammo. If, like, burning, no stun. Plus one damage versus demonic armor pierce. Ooh, armor pierce. Psychic blast. Afflict burning. 100% unlimited turns <laughs> oh man uh, and also has a chance to purge as you come on as you come on these things are probably uh, immune to burning anyway so let's see you come on here uh, your orders we could go there and punch it but i'd rather get this thing of course i can just smite uh, Hmm. Yeah, this is a little bit more difficult now with just three, <laughs> three guys. I could, of course, just use a vortex of doom, like so. Uh, eight damage. No, I, I'm gonna do this. Warp charge, all nights. Oh yeah, of course. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to warp charge yet. 
All right, so first of all, let's kill this thing. Shall avoid its fate. That is such a clear effect. I am here to serve. Crit, please. No crit. The foe bleeds. Crit, please. Nice crit. Excellent. We're done. Uh, how did he still have two action points there? Because he already moved and then shot once and then shot this guy two times, I guess. I keep forgetting he has that ability uh, to get an action point back. A plus one ammo, no crit damage, or range. I don't know, I can't remember. Ah, when this knight crits a target with a range that they have a 50% chance to gain one AP. Oh man, that's really nice, actually. That's really nice. Uh, I would like to get Kadon Rugen here, or Kador, sorry, Kador Rugen here is some. Uh, some extra stats, but um, I mean some XP, but Moving now. he's too far away to, to really do anything, which is unfortunate. What is your will? That's so cool. Purified this place. What is your will? What is your will? Your orders? Wait, what happened? Now I can actually move the camera while they're moving? I couldn't do that before. Or maybe it was just bugged. Alright, where are they? There they are. Um bum 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 bum. At your service. Unfortunately he's gonna be out of position again. As you come on. As you call you will not fail against this menace. Or a Terminator. I'm actually surprised they call us the a menace. Favors you all. Well, that's not good. Arms at the ready. Hardened. That's not nice. It almost seems like that hardened icon is unfinished. Because it's just this and it says hardened. It almost feels like something like a, a placeholder. Um, this... 25% minus 25% crit vulnerability and 25% resistance. And we cannot be stunned. That sucks because we kind of like our uh, crits there. We can destroy this. Unfortunately, it just takes two action points to get there. That's that really sucks. Rupert, at your service. Um, oh, Cadon Rugen yes, and Cador Rugen. <laughs> yes, Commander. So let's see. We don't have a silencer here. Uh, sorry, side cannon. How much damage? Oh yeah, you, you ignore cover. It is long range though. So how about... Ah, oh, we can get into cover. Okay. My blade is ever ready. Let's do this first. Man, that does a lot of damage. The foe bleeds. <laughs> the foe bleeds. Standing ready. Oh, if you crit, you probably won't. Oh, that's the, that thing is there as well. I don't. Yeah, it's not going to affect him though, unfortunately. No crit. Nice. We slay the darkness. Okay. Let's go say hello to him. Man, that teleport is so powerful. Uh, what was that? I think he got his... Yeah, he got his action point back. Very nice. And in fact, I think we can just kill him here. Man, our poor Purgator... Uh, sorry, Purifier is not going to get any... Uh, any XP here. Again, unfortunately, no crit, which means no seed. Now we need to go for the next one, which is there. Uh, it's up there. That's gonna be annoying. Quite a few places where they can hide. Affirmative. Affirmative. Yeah, the incinerator's nice. Um, especially the armor pierce. Your orders? But it's so difficult to get them into a good position. Uh, 
So the question is, should I trigger them this turn or not? Let's do it. Affirmative. Raise the oh, shoot. Cord. Okay, what do we have? Advance that's a plasma. Yeah, that's a champion with a plasma pistol. Okay, and a belcher. What is a assault order? They probably get bonuses to attack. Commander, we've made contact with the enemy. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This unit gains plus one damage for melee attacks and plus one move speed. That's uh, not that nice. I think this calls for one of these babies. Oh man, just out of range? Oh, that sucks. Uh, kind of don't want to move too close there, to be honest. Your command. Just really. You need to use another action point there. That sucks. Alright, how about you get into cover here? I don't think he'll really be able to do much, though. As ordered. Wait. Oh, no! No, no, no! I thought it was... <sighs> Kill me now. I thought I had... Cat or Ruben selected. At your service. Woo! I'm just making mistakes left, right, and center here. Uh, I guess it's gonna be this then, because uh, he can only attack once, really, unless he crits and gets lucky. And we can only get two enemies here. Wait, what about precision targeting? <sighs> no, let's do this. Oh, and it destroys cover, of course. Oh, and he's reloading, that's good. Well, you can get all three, which is quite nice. That's so cool. No demon shall avoid its fate. Your command. Your command. Yeah, that's all you can do that far. As you command. That's not gonna do a damn thing. And of course, um, hmm. I guess we could do that. Range 10, purge, afflict burning. The only problem is, the burning is nice, it'll kill this guy, but he gets to have a turn first, which means he can heal, shoot, you know, all that other stuff. So. You come on. Right, we need to kill this one here. Uh, no cover here, unfortunately. I can kill this one. But I would like to also kill the champion. So that kind of sucks. Um, standing ready. Standing ready. Unleash me. Should I kill the champion or should I kill this guy? He's not going to block because he's got a halberd. So he's going to take damage here, but he does have three armor. So I'm going to go for him. I think he's the bigger threat. Destroyed oh, that was amazing. Taking position. All right. Of course you're coming down here. Oh, nice. He came here to do a melee attack. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna take some damage here. Ouch. Oh, he's attacking again. That's not. That's not good. I did not like that one bit. Okay. Uh, you know what? Just do it for now. Flames of purity. Um, Opening fire. Oh, that's cool. Affirmative. 
Yeah, I guess the whole point of this guy is just to run up close to enemies as fast as possible. Yeah, see, he does attack that guy, but maybe if I were to move one, two, three, four, uh, I think he's still going to hit our librarian from there. Yes, he will. Ah, oh, damn, that's that sucks. I do come on. Probably should have killed the other one because, because he can block attacks, but that's alright. Okay, that was uh, actually out. He's gonna be in an infirmary for a while. Where is the last seat carrier? All the way over there. And they're moving closer. He can jump over. He could teleport, I suppose. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. What? But you're gonna get... Are you immune to that stuff? Eternal flame... Uh, immune to hazards. Okay. Taking position. Nice. Here. I am with you. I am with you. <laughs> right, let's move further. I don't know if there's another patrol here. Okay, these guys are quite close. And we got blue. I mean warp surge. Minus one max willpower. That's okay. That's not a huge deal. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this despite my many, many blunders. A big thank you to my Patreons for your support. It is extraordinarily appreciated. And uh, I really should be doing something additional for my Patreons, to be completely honest. I'll think about it, and I'll uh, see you all next time. Bye-bye.